That might be the only scary commercial I've ever seen in my whole life. Back in the olden days before YouTube, we had things called TVs. And on those TVs, we had commercials. And there have been some weird commercials, especially in a little place called Europe, which I like to call Weird America. They freaking drink warm beer and put mayonnaise on their french fries. So today, we are gonna watch some of the weirdest European car commercials that our producers could find. Apparently some of these are fun and silly and some are downright creepy. Those are the ones I'm looking forward to. I'm James and this is the D-D-D-D-D-D-U-S. Thank you to Inno Foods for sponsoring today's video. Samples, get your samples. What do we have here today, Kirkland Job? These are all Inno Food snacks, healthy snacks that you can take anywhere. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> wow, those are good. <laughs> I could eat all these, <laughs> but I better not. Maybe uh, went for the road. What a good looking guy. Samples, come taste the healthy, delicious difference of Inno Foods. Their snacks are non-GMO, organic, vegan, and keto friendly with no preservative, so you know exactly what you're eating. Oh, well, well, well. I've never seen or tasted these before. Don't mind if I do. Hmm, I could eat this whole tray. Go right ahead, I'm glad you like them. Okay, sir, let's save some for everyone. Okay. They've got dark chocolate snacks, coconut snacks, even almond snacks. Put them in yogurt, ice cream, salads, or just eat them right out of the bag. I missed almost all of those. Go pick up a bag at Costco and click the link in the description to head over to InnoFood's Instagram page to enter to win $100 worth of InnoFood's products. And now, back to the show. So without further ado, let's jump in to the ice cold waters of the Netherlands and check out this Volkswagen Golf commercial from 2010. I'm a huge Volkswagen fan. They have a history of great ads. I'm really looking forward to this one. Off the bat, got that Mark III Golf. This is like my story. This is this James Humphrey story. What? Why was the dad so excited that she was an old lady? Is it because she like drove it soft? Or is it because he thinks that she doesn't know what she's got, they can take advantage of her? She's old. She's so old, she's stupid. Also, I'm already a bit confused because this is a 90s car in a commercial from 2010. Revving it. The dad was stoked because she was old and he thought that she was gonna baby the car. But turns out, grandma has a lead foot. Not every old lady is as reliable. Fortunately, each golf. That dad has some communication problems with his son. He's very weird. It's like the old lady is there. She can see him going like, Like I said in the beginning, this ad is interesting because it's more of a heritage ad. Uh, it was made in 2010, features a car from the 90s. So I think they're really selling like Volkswagen reliability. And they're saying like, you can rip on this fun little car and it's still gonna be good for years to come. All in all, I love Volkswagen commercials. Uh, this is a great one. It's obviously worked on me. I own uh, that red car essentially. <laughs> Moving on to the next commercial. Uh, this is for the Ford Sport Ka. The guys have put together a list of fun facts for each commercial for me to read uh, before I watch it. And the second one for this one is, ad agency made several versions that were extremely graphic. And then in parentheses, cat decapitation. And then for some reason, uh, the Royal Racing Pigeon Association asked for to withdraw this ad. So it's not a cat decapitation video, but they do something weird to racing pigeons apparently. Ford Ka, it's such a weird little guy. <laughs> Okay, it's not like that's a real pigeon getting hit by a real car.
car. It's CGI. I'm not sure what they were trying to say with this though. The normal Ford car is normal, but the Ford Sport car will punch a pigeon in the face. And apparently it'll decapitate a cat. I think this commercial is awesome. It's very funny. Those Royal Pigeon Racer guys need to loosen up a little bit. Rubbing his race in, pal. Very effective. I already wanted a Ford car because of the association with Colin McRae. And guess what? I want one even more now. Moving on. Next up, we got a commercial for the tried and true Honda Accord, one of the greatest cars ever made. This commercial is also from 2003, good year for commercials apparently, so this would make it the seventh gen Honda Accord. The commercial took four months to design and shoot, which is quite long, um, and 70 attempts, I'm gonna assume that those are takes, to get it right. Oh, I remember this commercial. Oh, I didn't know this was British. It's a Rube Goldberg machine. Oh, creepy. I've seen a lot of Rube Goldberg machine videos and this is one of the better ones I've seen. Rapper's Delight. Isn't it nice when things just work? Yeah. Uh, I was kind of, I was with it. It's a little boring, honestly. I've seen this a million times. This was a good one, but like, at the end of the day, if I'm a British guy with a family, this isn't the reason that I'm gonna buy an Accord. And even like the attitude of it is just kind of like ish. Like, you know like, mean nerds? That's what the vibe I get from this commercial. It's like, isn't it nice when stuff just works? Like, it took you 70 takes. So this is three commercials from different countries. We're gonna see one from Chile, one from Finland, and one from Russia, all for the Lada Samurai. Nothing scarier than a Russian Samurai. Samara. Oh, sorry, the Lada Samara. Oh no, it's in Spanish and there's no subtitles. Damn, that's strong. Solida y resistente carrocería. Straight up Vin Diesel, it. Y efectiva suspensión independiente. Is a buff dude. He's little though. Muy amplio y equipado interior. Oh my God! What are they telling me with this commercial? Cinco pasajeros adultos. Y con mucha nada, sin duda un gran auto. That is a sick graphic. Entonces, ¿por qué pagar tanto más por cualquier otro? Usually, like, okay, when I buy a car. One of the things I don't look for is whether or not it can be picked up and turned over by a man, okay? If anything, this might deter me from buying a lot of Samara. I parked my car on the street, I street parked, I'm running some errands or whatever. One of my many, many enemies finds my car and just Vin Diesel's it and flips it upside down? I want my car stuck to the ground. Thank you very much, Lada. Based on this commercial, if someone was like, hey, I'm considering buying a Lada Samara, what do you think? I'd be like, no! Let's check out a commercial for the same car from Finland in 1987. Samara? Oh, there's a girl in the trunk. Oh, the whole crew's getting on it. Oh, that's her boyfriend up there? Signed picture of her boyfriend? When we decided to make a video about weird European car commercials, this is exactly what I pictured. I don't know what the hell is going on. It's all style, no substance. I guess this lady like sleeps in her trunk, but she's also on a set, so we're breaking the fourth wall. Is her name Samara? Did they name the car after her? So many questions. I don't know, okay. Uh, we got one more. This is from the motherland, you know, where the lot is from, Russia. It's a Russian commercial from 1993. Uh, this is right after the Berlin Wall fell. This is right after the USSR is broken up. I'm very curious. Very curious. 
Oh God. <laughs> this is 100% a Russian car commercial from 1993. What is position number two? What is position number two? What is position number two? The Lada one has been very confusing to me. Next up, we have a band commercial from 2011 for the Hyundai Veloster. Now, we like the Veloster here. We've made some Veloster commercials ourselves. So I'm very curious to see what ended up getting banned from Dutch TV in 2011. Are you sure? Yeah, echt. Last stukje lopen Okay. 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 Okay, tot snel. Are you zeker? Ja, echt. Laatste stukje lopen wel hoor. Oh, there's no door on that side. Andere kant, mevrouw. Dankjewel, meneer. That was legit scary. That was the only, that might be the only scary commercial I've ever seen in my whole life. It was legitimately scary. Uh, if you don't know, the Hyundai Veloster is a three-doored car. It's uh, very weird. The B-pillar on each side is in a different spot. I think this commercial is saying that the reason that they did that is so you can't get out and get hit by traffic. Very well produced, entertaining. Uh, the messaging gets lost a little bit for me. And not only because it's in Dutch. We have finally reached our last commercial that is weird from Europe, the weirdest continent. Uh, this is another Hyundai commercial. All it says is Toy Boy. It's originally aired in Sweden, Belgium, and France in 2001. Named by gay.com and planetout.com as the gayest commercial of all time. Gay.com, that's like the gay website. Hey. Je prends mon temps, je marche tout droit. Yeah, it's like a French song. Tu passes devant, je regarde tes yeux. Ooh, put the seat je back. Oh, it's her husband. I'm oh, just picking up your dry cleaning. Le monde se moque de moi, je suis un toy. Oh, they're both unfaithful. They're both miserable in their relationship. So they're both having secret affairs. He's living a lie. What a jovial look at infidelity. Like talk to each other, have the tough conversation. If neither of you are happy, like, Obviously, something's going on in the marriage. Neither of you are fulfilled. It's not even that gay. So, I've seen gayer. Shirt! They're finally here! It took forever to design these things, but the results are amazing! This is truly my favorite shirt that we have ever put out. That's what happens when you keep getting better at it. We got two different colorways. They're both black, but they got different colored inks on them. I'm talking yellow and white, or green and red, and both of them are fire. Better order both of them now, because they're not gonna last very long at all. I'm ordering 12 of them myself. We're printing them right now, so go get them while you still can. Donutmedia.com, tell them James sent you. There's actually no way that you can do that, but maybe tell yourself under your breath when you hit the, Cart. All right, so we've watched some weird commercials from one of the weirdest continents, but guess what guys? There's seven continents. So if you like this video, let me know and I can make a weird commercial react video to everything. Thank you for liking and subscribing. It's the only way that we know that we're doing a good job. Follow me on Instagram at James Pumphrey. Follow Donut at Donut Media. And if you're curious about what's going on on the Donut Underground, this is what we got this week. For more information on that, hit the join button or I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below. I love you.